The city of Southfield is now in the middle of an unprecedented road, water, and infrastructure improvement program. The initiative overhauls an infrastructure that in some places is well over 50 years old. So overall within the city of Southfield, they're beginning to move forward into a phase where after 50 years, some of that infrastructure is really needing some attention. So overall within the city, we have a water main lining program being run by the city and their, and their forces themselves where they're lining water mains. We have a northern evergreen project, a mile of road up there in front of City Hall worth $12 million. Over in the far corner, we call it Section 31, right by the corner of Eight Mile and Inkster, there's a five mile water main replacement and paving project there. And then we have a one mile job here from eight to nine mile $5 million in work with a complete reconstruction of this one mile of road, relocating utilities, replacing the water main, most of the storm system, really giving this one mile a brand new look for the next 50 years. The infrastructure improvement program doesn't come without its various challenges. So one of the largest challenges of any of these rehabilitation projects is the existing utilities. We have to carefully locate those utilities dig around them without causing damage. Any damage that does happen has to get fixed before we put a brand new road on it. And within the trenches out there, as an example, just for eight and nine mile, there are four gas mains, there are two water mains, there is fiber, electric, um, there's an entire storm system which has been put in over the last 60 years in various pieces. All of those have to be looked at, assessed, figure out what has to be repaired and get those repaired before we put a new road on it, which is sometimes why when we have a mess like this, it just looks like nothing's happening when really there is quite a bit going on every day as we get to the quick part, which is the paving. While much of the work takes place throughout the city's main arteries, a good portion also extends into Southfield neighborhood subdivisions. So when we step out onto this street, this is five miles of residential subdivision that has the same value as one mile on the other road. We're gonna do five miles of water main replacement here. And when you step onto the street, you're in a residential subdivision. We don't have cars, you don't have a lot of traffic control, you're in people's front yards. It's, it's just a really nice feel compared to an active an, an active mile with multiple contractors, heavy gas mains, lots more risk and danger on those roads. And you get into the subdivision and we, I really feel like you're really in contact with the people of the city of Southfield while you work. When you're over there, you're a disturbance to them here. We're a disturbance, but you really feel like you're, you just feel like you're with the people doing something they need done here. You know, Much of the infrastructure improvements have to do with replacing items that were installed in the 1950s. Project workers hope that the materials chosen will last another 50 years moving forward. So these water mains were put in in the 50s here. The neighborhoods were built in the 50s and now that pipe is corroding. And as an example, in this five miles, they have had 120 breaks in the last four years. This water main goes off all the time without notice because the old main is in such poor condition it's been breaking. So when we did the analysis in the design portion of the job, we knew we needed to switch materials for the next 50 years in order to get the life out of the new water main. And we've chosen this PVC water main pipe, which is relatively innovative. It's a molecularly oriented pipe so it it has some really special scientific characteristics so that it doesn't crack longitudinally, it will not corrode over time, and hopefully it's our intention that this pipe should make it through the next three generations of water main use for the residents of this subdivision. As a byproduct of the water main replacement, some residents will also get new roads in their subdivisions. So the roads in here, as you can see, they, they were in rather difficult shape. 
And as you're just looking up through the process, the water main installation has actually damaged them more than what they were when we got here. So as a as almost an added benefit of water main replacement, the residents of this subdivision are gonna get new roads as a function of it, just because our work does that much damage that it's kind of the right thing to do, get those roads replaced as part of the water main replacement project because of the damage we do. To get updates regarding road and infrastructure work in Southfield, visit cityofsouthfield.com.